What's up everyone? Welcome back to my 4 star school YouTube channel. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to change light theme to dark theme using GetX package. And this is my sixth video talking about GetX package. If you are new to uh, my channel, feel free to reach out to my channel page and you will find a completely uh, Flutter GetX tutorial for beginners and Flutter tutorial, a entire programming language tutorial and also Flutter UI from the scratch tutorial. After we finish this GetX tutorial, we're going to build the application using the GetX package. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, sum up my content and open a notification so you won't miss out the latest Flutter tutorial. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. So first, let's open the Visual Studio Code in Android Emulator. As you see here, I wrote the code for today's lesson and I will walk through those examples line by line and give you an explanation. As you see, this is the demo uh, for the dynamic changing the theme using getx package changing light mode to dark mode when i press this button the light scene will change to a dark scene as you see here and also the text will change from black to white uh, depends on the current theme that's back to the mind map as you see uh, if you want to dynamically change your theme so first you're going to create a theme file inside uh, your Flutter app as you see here I create a theme folder and here I create a themes.dar themes view and themes controller so let's look into this themes.dar for the themes.dar I create the custom theme and one is light theme, another is dark theme. As you see, I using the default a light theme from this a color schema. Uh, here are some predefined color for light theme, and here is some predefined color for the dark theme. And as you see here, this uh, purple uh, from the dark theme uh, is this primary color. And we can change back to the light theme and this uh, dark purple color is uh, came from this primary color and this is our first step to define this custom themes color and you can define your text theme button theme inside the theme data and as you see here there are lots of attributes you can pass your text theme through this constructor Okay, and back to the mind map. After we finish the first step, the second step is to configure our theme in this get material app. Uh, let's open our theme example. As you see, we wrap our example by this get material app. Inside this get material app, we're going to uh, configure some attribute. So first is the theme which is the light theme. We're going to import our uh, custom theme. And as you see here, we make these uh, fill static. So you can access to this attribute using this class name.light theme, right? As you see here, we can using the class name.light theme for our light theme and class name.dark theme for our dark theme. And then we're going to config our theme mode. Uh, as you see, we will get from our theme controller. And let's look into our theme controller. Here we have the scatter method for our theme. First, we're going to check the theme mode in our local storage. And if we start mode, we're going to return theme mode.dar. Otherwise, we're going to return theme mode.line. So don't worry if you didn't know this get storage, we're going to talk it in later. So 
as you see here, we're passing at least same controller dot theme, which is the getter method return this same data, and we're using this get dot put. I put our theme controller into the memory so it can access to our uh, theme spec to the remind map after we config the theme and that theme in get material app so the next step is create our theme controller and define those uh, changing theme method so let's back to visual studio code in this theme controller uh, we extend the get x controller and here we have some uh, method to changing the theme so the first one is changing theme and we receive the same data and this is the first one and we're going to call this get.change theme uh, from getx sdk after that we have this change theme mode and we will receive the theme mode and also we will use the getx sdk uh, which is this change theme mode provide by the getx we can change the theme mode okay there's two method we have in our controller so let's back to this theme view so in a theme view we're going to find our theme controller so as you see when i start start our application first the theme controller will load into the memory so in our example which is the theme view dot we can find our theme controller and we can access to it is attribute or method inside this theme controller and we scroll down we have this getx theme which is a black text here and also we have a button and let's look into this on press when i press this button first we're going to check if our app is under the dark mode and we can using this get util method which to return the boolean value if it's a dark mode if it's a dark mode we're going to change our theme mode to light theme so for this else statement we're going to change the theme mode back to the dark theme so as you see here when i click this button the theme mode will change to dark theme because this one is written false so you will execute this statement okay so let's check and we can change the theme to a dark theme and when i click again it will change to light theme again and another approach is we can uh, change the theme instead of the theme mode so let's comment this out okay i'm comment this one oh so we're going to comment this out uncommon this okay and we save again we're going to restart our application okay you see uh, we finish the initialize for our theme controller so basically it will be the same as we change the theme mode you are going to click the button and our theme will change to dark theme and when i click this button again you are back to the light theme that's how you can dynamic change in your app theme in this galax package so back to the mind map and we can use the third party library to save the user preferences for it is theme for example if you user change the light theme to dark theme so the next time when you restart your application you will uh, read the user's preference and display the dark theme in your application so how can we achieve this and here i'm going to introduce another package uh, which is called get storage and we're going to store users a preference in local storage and next time we can read this information and display the correct theme so back to our visual studio code in order to save the user's preference we're going to 
uh, using this get storage package. So first we're going to install this package by placing this get storage in our pubs bc yaml file as you see here in line 37 after you finish here you're going to install this dependence and then place this one the package uh, on the top of your controller file as you see here and then we have uh, this instance of our storage and we define a key is stack more right and then we're going to load our theme so first we're going to rate our is stack more by default we'll give it false so for example so the first time we don't have this key in our local storage so you will return the false and when user changing the theme so you see we have this save theme method and we're going to write this key with this boolean value which passed by the user as you see here after we changing the light theme and we're going to save the theme as you see uh, it start mode will be false and we pass to this controller and we're going to save to our local storage All right so next time when you open the application First, you will load our theme and read these you start more key. After you have those two methods, load theme and save theme, uh, you're going to uh, use this uh, get storage. So in each method in your main.dart. As you see from this readme file, first you're going to initialize your storage driver with this await keyword and we turn this uh, main method to asynchronize so first we're going to initialize our get storage and as you see here in our team controller uh, we can create our instance after get storage finish is initialized and we can get our stack more this key and we can read the key and write the data to the key and it will store in our local storage so next time when you open your application, by default, you will allow the user's preference. So for example here, and I change the theme to dark theme, right? And I'm going to uh, restart our application. As you see, our application finish a restart and it display the dark mode, right? Okay, I'm going to comment out these uh, local storage method and you will see the differences between uh, using the storage or no using a storage. So let's comment out the save sim method in our sim.view. Okay, so we're going to save it. Also in these uh, main.dart, we're going to comment out our get x storage for our theme controller and we're going to comment out this save theme okay and those theme so for this getter method we're going to change to using get start mode so let's save and I'm going to restart our application. So this time we are now save the user preference in the local storage. As you see, I changed this theme to a dark mode, right? And I restart this application. The application will back to the live theme. You see? So after it finish uh, initialize the theme will back to the live theme. So that's why I'm going to use this uh, get storage to store the user's preferences. So next time when I restart our application, you will keep the user's preferences for the last time. Okay, here I'm going to 
uh, change it back to using the data from local storage. So first, going to uncomment those out, and send for load theme and read theme. I'm going to replace it here, and we're going to save it for our main daughter and uncomment this out. Okay, and for our theme view daughter and uncomment those two. And here it's going to comment out this change theme. We're going to use this change theme mode, right? Okay, and comment this out. So comment this one and open this one and save. So we're going to uh, change it to the dark theme. And we're going to restart our application. Okay, as you see, we finish the initialize of our theme controller and it keep the dark theme because we save the theme mode to local storage and you will read the data from the local storage which is the dark mode is set to the true, right? So you will keep the dark theme and when I change back to the light theme and I restart the application this app will keep the light theme because it read the data from the local storage and it indicate it's dark mode false so we're going to display the light theme okay so that's all for today's lesson we learned how to dynamically changing the light theme to dark theme using getx package i will upload this mind map along with my source code to my patron so don't forget to subscribe to my channel thumb up my content and open a notification so you won't miss out the latest flutter tutorial okay thanks for watching i will see you in next video